I forgot to share um, how I usually pack my ceramic sculpture and uh, this can apply for anything if you're um, uh, sending uh, ceramic sculpture to exhibitions or collectors. So what I usually do is, I don't know if you can just about to see that, that's the ceramic sculpture there. Uh, so what I've done is, because it's open sculpture, there's a space inside, I put some bubble wrap uh, just inside, just to protect the inside there. And then I've then put that in, or wrap some bubble wrap around it. And then it gets tight. And, you know, I just like to just, you know, wrap the, the sculpture with some bubble wrap there. two boxes so I'm going to place uh, this sculpture inside this box and then I'll put some loose uh, some loose fill in there just kind of around the sides and on top just to create a kind of cushion between the walls <laughs> It just adds more protection to the, the, the sculpture. So, because you think of you know moving around in kind of transit like that, um, you know it's going to you know obviously the whole thing's going to move around. So, you know the more kind of padding you have, I find the better. And it's just just to be on the safe side. So that that kind of works for me. Sculptures 
Um, yeah, I think for me the big one I learned was is to be safe. You know, I look back to um, you know a previous experience when I sent like it was a ceramic sculpture and I sent it to an exhibition. I think it was in oh it was in Austria and yeah I remember I could, because I, I, I personally went there myself to attend the exhibition to, to see the opening and I remember when I got there uh, and after the work was set up or you know the pieces that survived anywhere anyway um, I realized that one piece broke and yeah and to this day I don't know if it broke in the shipping process or if it broke uh, when someone was handling it so but either way I realized that from that experience it's just really important for me just to you know ship ceramic sculptures with as much bubble wrap and loose fill um, as possible and also you know um, having the work in a box inside a box um, you know documented in, in this video um, I feel that's just worked really well for me um, yeah because you know the worst thing you want to do is you know ship something that you spend so much time you put so much energy into and you know they're, they're high value pieces and then to see something break uh, because maybe because you didn't pack it as well as you should have or or um, or something that something unforeseen like maybe the the piece just got knocked around when the carrier was moving it or when the car was driving along the road or something you know to see that, that all that hard work go down the drain so to speak is you know it's it's heartbreaking so so what i learned was just use for me just to use as much bubble wrap as much loose fill as possible obviously in a reasonable amount because <laughs> <laughs> you have to, to watch your budget as well but yeah just to make sure everything's really uh, properly wrapped up when it comes to you know ceramic sculpture and you know whether that's just shipping it uh, within your own country or shipping it uh, internationally um, so that's that's what I've learned and you know hopefully it can help any kind of artist that is you know also you know shipping ceramic pieces um but who knows maybe you have a better way of doing it because even i'm still learning so <laughs> yeah and another thing i learned from shipping ceramic sculpture is um you know research yeah just research the um the carrier and uh, make sure that that delivery company is you know a legitimate <laughs> company professional and reliable um, yeah because that's also important you want a company that that has that responsibility and that you know has that kind of reliability um, and you know you want to know that the their staff you know treat the parcels well and they don't just like throw them into a van <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, so make sure that the company is has um, has got some of those qualities. Um, I mean, I learned the hard way by just trying different things and then seeing things that wasn't so good, and then finding better companies out there. So <laughs> I did it by trial and error. Um, and another thing I learned was just when it comes to like you know printing out all of the information uh, the shipping documents just to what I learned was just to print out all the documents that the company asked for um, you know I think I had I think I had a couple of times once before where the carrier I printed out all the documents but then the carrier said oh we don't we don't need this document 
you know, maybe because it's like copy, and then on the website it says, oh, we need to print out two copies of this document. And I just, and, and from there I just realised, yeah, I just, just follow the, <laughs> for me, I just realised I just need to follow what the, um, what the company says, you know, if it says, oh, you need to print out four shipping labels, you know, to hand to the carrier, I just, just do it, you know, <laughs> just again, better to be safe than sorry, because I remember having an experience where I shipped uh, a ceramic piece and the, uh, the piece just got held up in transit because it was missing a document. And um, so, yeah, so from there I realized, you know, if the company says, print off four documents, print off 10 documents, <laughs> Who knows? Just just print them off and hand them to the the the, the driver. Uh, so yeah. So anyway, that's that's um, that is what I have learned from shipping ceramic sculpture, whether that's just you know in your home country or abroad. And um, you know, I hope it can help you in some way. Um, you know. Uh, but even you know, I, I mean, even I'm still learning and and um, figuring out it for myself. <laughs> um, but if this information can help you in some way uh, for any artists out there, that that would be yeah, that would be pretty amazing. Um, yeah, the power of the internet, the power of information. <laughs> I mean, if you have any comments or suggestions, uh, like. Perhaps you have a, a different way of packing ceramic sculpture. Uh, maybe leave it in the comment below and, and share it for other people to see. Um, yeah, who knows? Or, or if you have your own another idea, <laughs> maybe have a suggestion. Um, but anyway, yeah. I mean, um, I hope this video has been useful for you and um, given you a bit of like insight into how I ship my ceramic sculptures and and um, yeah so I hope that's been helpful um, if you have liked the video feel free to like it and um, oh and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified about new videos uh, when they pop up and I think they also say you gotta hit the bell hit the bell notification <laughs> to be reminded I think <laughs> and um, oh yeah and uh, and if you do like the content I'm putting out there uh, you're welcome to subscribe to my Patreon channel uh, because on that channel I'll be putting out um, exclusive content um, linked maybe not linked to all videos but you know linked to you know uh, some of my videos uh, just to give a bit more further information about that video and um, yeah, and then you can find that on my Patreon channel. I'll put the link in there. And um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs> bye bye, see you later.